So, two bullets fired, two wounds inflicted, as you said. Yes, Doctor. Then how do you account for the bullet that has so obviously struck the window frame? By George! However did you see that? Because, Dr. Carthew, I looked for it. Wonderful! Why, the, the bullet's still there! So a third shot must have been fired. Which means that a third person must have been present. Exactly. When you came into this room last night, you say that the door was ajar. Was not that window also open? I don't know, sir. No, sir. It was shut. Saunders, will you and Cook wait in the library? And you, Walker. Dr. Carthew, you may remove the body. It was Mrs. Cupid herself who shut that window. If Saunders and the cook smelled smoke and gunpowder upstairs, then there must have been a strong through draft. Otherwise, it would not have spread so quickly through the house. We know that door was open. That window, too, must also have been open, but only for a short time. Well, why only for a short time? Because the candles have not guttered. There is no trail of wax. Wonderful. Wonderful. 